2024 is a buyer's market. I'm here with the local lender, John Tober with Summit Funding. We're gonna dive into what's making this such an attractive time to buy and just kind of ask a couple questions on what we're seeing in the market and things like that. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Great friend of mine. Been friends for many, many years, right? right well, thank you. I appreciate it as well. Absolutely. Glad to be here. So talk to me a bit about the programs, but get down to the basics. Let's, let's talk about first-time home buyers. I think that's such a big, important part of our market. Uh, and a lot of people are scared right now. So what, what kind of things can we provide for them that'll help them feel more confident? You know, it's uh, first-time buyers and buying a home in today's market is, is so different than where we've been over the last 24 or 48, mm -hmm. uh, 48 months. And what's changed the most is two things, programs and leverage. Right. Those are the two big things right now. And what I mean by that with programs is there are new programs today that are solving three things, buyer payment, funds needed to buy, and sales price to qualify. And to give you an example of that, so like being a first time buyer today, some things that are available, uh, down payment assistance has always been there. Sure. But the biggest difference about down payment assistance today is there's no income limits for certain programs. Right. Before you had to make a certain criteria. Correct. You had to be in a box. Now, if you need money to buy, it's available to do it. So we're solving the need for out-of-pocket expenses. Which is really nice because before, if you were single, you had this much you could qualify for, and then married, you could qualify just a tad more. It wasn't like you got double the, the rate. Hit a little bit more on that. So it, it's open to almost everybody as long as they qualify. What are, what are some of the qualifications? Right, right. So credit score is important. Okay. So if you have a 620 credit score, that's that's going to be important to qualify. Okay. Income limits, they that that's not necessarily on the table. Okay. There are programs that require it. Uh, but but we can get around that. And so that's one of the solutions okay. is the funds need to buy. Because if you think about buying a home today, it takes a lot. Groceries are expensive, sure. gas is expensive. And so saving money is is hard. So this down payment sol uh, assistance solves the need of keeping money in the bank at a time where it's difficult to have those savings. Right. Um, the other side to it, payment wise. So. Uh, the creative options today have to do with uh, no mo monthly mortgage insurance. Mm -hmm. Doesn't impact interest rates. Okay. So if you think about that, we're looking at a market interest rate, uh, no monthly mortgage insurance, saving anywhere between $150, $200 or more. Right, that payment. right. Now, you know, that versus where rates today and where rates are going fast forward, $100, $200, I mean, at that point, the rate doesn't matter. Sure, yeah, because right? I mean, that's like, essentially, if you're putting 10, 15, $20,000 down to get that savings, so uh, that, that's a really important one. That's changed over the years because it wasn't always like that. You're absolutely right, yeah. you're absolutely so, right. Talk to me about the, the is it like a grant or is it more of just, it's a, it's forgiven, it's worked into the back of the loan? How, how does something like that yeah, work? Yeah, great question. Because there are, and we're talking about mortgage insurance right now. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are ways to roll it into the loan, but mm -hmm. this particular program would be um, uh, not rolled into the loan, mm -hmm. not a cost to the interest rate. Okay. It is truly, truly. A, no MI, marketed interest rate. Okay. Now, not everyone will qualify for this program. Okay. So the thing to know about these options is there are, um, you know, the stra strategy will depend on the individual, but the options are wide. Okay. And people need to know that there are ways to solve today's problems of budget and affordability. Okay. So uh, down payment assistance, um, you know, no mortgage insurance, and there's even programs for uh, below market interest rates. So here's how this works. So uh, if you think about market rates and to get a below market interest rate of a 1% below market, so we're at the high sixes, low sevens, mm -hmm. we're talking like maybe, you know, 5.8, okay. 6%. You know, before these programs are targeting areas like more inner city, you know, tougher areas, okay. right? Uh, but now the map for these programs have widened up into San Antonio. Okay. So there are pockets in San Antonio that don't qualify specifically for this discounted interest rate option, mm -hmm. uh, but the, the, the map's pretty broad. So it's, again, it's going back to knowing your options, mm -hmm. having the first initial discussion, what options are available to help me solve the need that I have as a buyer, right. whether it's money out of pocket or monthly budget or sales price range. I'm assuming you'd probably have some type of heat map that shows what pockets of town it allows for. Yes. And is that tied into a government program locally or is that just an investor program? You're absolutely right. It's an investor program. Okay. Yep, uh, okay. investor program. And it's one of many options that we could 
look into depending on what the need is to solve. Okay, so you mentioned need. Uh, we, we have a lot of self-employed people here in San Antonio and a lot of people are saying, you know, do I wait, do I buy, do I wait, do I buy? Um, Y'all have a lot of new things coming out with self-employed as well. We do, yeah, we absolutely do. So self-employment is, uh, it's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> absolutely, <Both of> us, <laughs> exactly, yeah, right? when it comes both, down to 1099. Yes, and not only that, but our families, yeah, right? Sure. Our, our families were entrepreneurs and, you know, we have, we have a, I, you know, we have a want to help sure. these business owners. Mm -hmm. So when you have someone that's writing off all their expenses through uh, IRS tax returns, mm -hmm. claiming very little, right? Uh, so today there are ways to solve that through um, different sources. We can take bank statements, okay. CPA letter confirming the income. It, there's plenty of strategies to solve that need. Mm -hmm. um, so business owners, if you think about leveraging assets and purchasing real estate. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best ways as a business owner to leverage your money and right. your investments is to buy real estate, mm -hmm. whether it's investment property or primary residence. Right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so you talked a little bit about rates earlier when you said the 1% below market on the certain programs. Talk to me about what we're looking at right now. I mean, we, we've heard a lot of things in the news and we're hoping that towards the end of the year, you know, things will get a little bit better. What is your personal take, John Tober's take <laughs> on what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna hold you to it, but you know, let's, let's keep Keep a nice eye on it. I like it, yeah. So interest rates is a funny world right now. Yep. And you know, right now we're right around high sixes, low sevens. Yep. It's kind of where we're bouncing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we see around the corner is in uh, the Fed met and they're starting to see that we are starting to hit our targets of inflation. Right. And we don't want to we don't want to get too hot, we don't want to get too cold, we gotta figure out when to make those adjustments. Mm -hmm. It seems like September, December era time frame is when they'll make their first rate deductions mm -hmm. with the Fed. Now, the Fed deductions don't always impact mortgage rates directly, mm -hmm. but the implications we tend to see. Mm -hmm. So what that'll look like is, if you think about like, if we took a step back and if we took a look at a map of a graph of inventory sure. nationally, 2007, 4 million homes in the market. Fast forward last year, 980,000 homes yeah. in the market, right? So 4 million, 980,000. Uh, interest rates drop by 1%, that in, that opens up 5 million buyers to our market. Right. As an agent, how complicated will it be to make an offer when you have other buyers in that market? Oh yeah, it's tough. It, it makes it a lot more complicated. You gotta give a little crafty, and ultimately you gotta give up your upper hand, right? Because now you're competing with somebody else and now it's a, it's a frenzy again. So I could see that being a little bit more complicated, but right now, I mean, you have the upper hand because it is a buyer's market here in San Antonio. You mentioned inventories. We just, we're at 14,460 homes on the market. Uh, so we know what's going to happen if we'll, we get a reduction of 1% for everybody. I mean, that inventory is going to stretch a shrink a tad and now you have more buyers in play. So on my end, you know, I'm telling buy, buy, buy because you're getting maximization from everywhere where you wouldn't have had that two years ago. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And, and going back to leverage, uh, what we're seeing. So you guys do a great job negotiating on the contracts, mm -hmm. uh, getting the best deal for the buyers right. and sellers, mm -hmm. whatever side you're on. Uh, we see the end result of that contract. And what we're seeing on average is seller contribution. Right. So leverage for buyers, anywhere from you know $5,000 in seller paid costs sure. up to, we just got a contract in last night that was $20,000. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, wow. so, yeah, that's a lot. No, yeah, I mean, we budget two to 3% on our on our seller side, just as a, we don't want to use it, but right. in, in the case that we were prepared for, because that's kind of the norm of what we're seeing metro wise. So going back to leverage, that not that you need $20,000 in seller contribution, mm -hmm. right? But what that does open the doors for is going back to the interest rates where we are and the opportunity to buy. It allows us to do a temporary rate buy down, mm -hmm. lower the rate by 2% for the first couple of years, mm -hmm. or a, a permanent buy down. Maybe we buy out mortgage insurance. So the seller contribution allows more strategy and opportunity mm -hmm. for our buyers to that are maybe on the fence realize that, hey, there's ways to fit that budget. Mm -hmm. We just gotta figure out what that looks like, have the conversation, and then nurture that when you're ready. Mm -hmm. um, going back to ownership of people locked into 4% right now, I had a great conversation with a client of mine. She was, you know, she had an unfortunate situation with her husband, had heart surgery, oh, no. house doesn't fit anymore, it's stairs, right? Sure, so they need, to, they need to get out. But she's anchored down because the rate is 4.25, right? So I was like, okay, well, let's talk about this. You got tons of equity in the house. Mm -hmm. um, the house just isn't the right fit, right. time's important. So let's talk about a home equity loan to tap into that equity, get you into this next property, maybe bridge the gap of those mortgage sure. insurance, I'm sorry, those mortgage payments uh, to get you what you need, which is to get out of this property that just doesn't fit your needs mm -hmm. anymore and into something more realistic for you and your family. Mm -hmm. So the need to move out shouldn't anchor you down by the interest rate because rates will drop 
you want to buy before the market goes. Boom. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and, and that's kind of, there's so much pent up demand right now that a lot of people are just on the fence. And, and I, I feel once we start to see that, I mean, we saw a little adjustment and so many applications opened up uh, recently, but I feel that once it's a significant one, then people are going to jump in and then all of a sudden your options you might add might be a little bit tougher to get into. Or I see that house on the market, it normally takes a little bit longer, but now it's going a little bit faster. So that call to action's a little bit uh, tighter as far as timelines. I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. Let's just futuristically look, 2025, June. What 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 do you think the average interest rates will be? I won't hold you to it. <laughs> Man, that's a good one. I, I mean, it's fun. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> do it. I'm, I'm going to throw mine out there. Yeah, I think tell me. Yes, June 2025, uh, we will be where everyone can achieve without buying anything down, somewhere in the 5.5. That's my that's my uh, assumption. Okay. Okay. Let's let's mark that. So we'll write it down. Yeah. 5.5. Yeah. Okay. Steak dinner. Steak that's dinner. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'd say maybe, uh, I don't, you know, I, I hope 5.5. Yeah, sure. I, I do hope. That, that would be I'm a, I'm a optimist. optimist. We're, yeah. we're both optimists. <laughs> yes. uh, I, you know, I think we'll probably realistically, because of how things are right now, mm -hmm. with we're, we're in a really strong economy, I think we'll probably be, you know, low sixes. Okay. Low sixes, high fives, I think is where we'll wind mm -hmm. up being. And uh, which is not that far away from where we are. Why not? And, and so if you think about it, it's like, why are people hung up on interest rates? Mm -hmm. So we, we, we've talked about a lot of things, a lot of projections, and hopefully we, I can win the steak dinner. Uh, but for people out there looking and watching, trying to get a little bit more information, how do they find you? How do they go and find those heat maps uh, to figure out where those great uh, programs are? Yeah, pretty easy. Uh, you can call me on my cell. It, it's 210-317-7431. Uh, hit me up on my website. Sure. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Well, there you have it. John Tober with Summit Lending. We hope you got some good value out of this. We look to see you in the future. Have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon.